Everyone, I'm your host, Pastor E. John Citizen, with my lovely wife, Nikita. Honey, we have a jam-packed show tonight. We have some great guests tonight, great music. We have Cynthia Washington here with the Raymond Hill Praise Team. I can't wait to hear them sing. You got a scripture for me tonight, baby? For they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as the eagle. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. For they See, if you keep your eyes on the Lord, there's nothing that can't be possible yeah. in your life. We got music tonight. I don't want to belabor this. We have a lot going on, but mm -hmm. Cynthia Washington with the yes. Raven Hill praise team will be singing, You Brought Me. Let's worship the Lord, wow. then we'll come back and talk about it.
Hallelujah. If you didn't know Amen. that, sit there with Washington singing. Woo, my God. Yes, Listen, powerful. Raymond Hill praise team got it going on <laughs> at WATC TV 57. And we got the pastor here tonight, Pastor Raymond Isaac. Keep Brother, it. Keep keep it. it. I'm sorry. I, I don't know where I get Raymond from. My from Ray <laughs> Man, I got Raymond in my head. Yes, all right. I keep I, it on my, my heart. heart. Woo. <laughs> You get to preach after that every Sunday? Every Sunday. She lays the groundwork. She's my, she tills the ground. You know, my, my, my. singing like that just makes preaching what we call easy. Yes, it, it, it does. It does. Yeah. It's, I heard when she opened her mouth, I looked at my wife. I said, she ain't warmed up yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brother, you are blessed. So t uh, Raven Hill Baptist Church has yes. been around a long time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A lot of history. A lot of history. Now, you have taken the reins of that ministry. Yeah. Let's talk about what's going on at Raymond Hill. Give us a little background, a little history, and let our audience know where you're at today. Well, first of all, I thank you for having me. Amen. Uh, just a pleasure to be here on Atlanta, Atlanta Live 57, mm -hmm. uh, to be with you, Pastor, and to uh, be in this marvelous studio. But yes, I am the pastor, senior pastor at Raymond Hill Baptist Church. I've uh, been there now going on two years. Amen. Uh, but the church has been uh, in the city of Snellville for 147 years. Oh, wow. 147 years. 147 so years. It wasn't always just a church. No, it wasn't well, just that a church. Was history. It wasn't yes, always it just, wasn't a church. just a church. So give me some history. Let, let, let our audience history know. that behind Raymond Hill Baptist Church. You know, we, uh, again, is 147 years old. Uh, it was founded in the year of 1875. When it, when it was founded, it was originally a, not only a place of worship, but it was also a place of information. Amen. Uh, where, where it, the surrounding communities, uh, people like Snellville and Grayson right. and Rosebud came to Raymond Hill to go to school. Uh, Amen. So many of, the, many of the children, children of color uh, specifically, came to Raymond Hill, and that's where they was, uh, learned, that's where they got their learning from, from Raymond Hill Baptist Church. And that went on for uh, 75 years until they uh, built the uh, uh, school in uh, Lawrenceville, which is called Hooper uh, Renwick. Uh, wow. Yeah, and that's uh, yeah. And so then when they built that, you know, that's when they kind of migrated over there into Lawrenceville. But we are the oldest city, old, oldest church in the city of Snellville uh, until they moved the moved the uh, boundary lines. But we are we are there and we are still. You know, as you was yeah. talking, I can see former slaves. Yes. I can see people of color hiding. Yes, sir. To learn. Yes, sir. Fighting to, yes, not sir. just hiding, but yes, fighting sir. to learn. Yes, sir. But here we've come full circle. Yes, sir. With all the history of this location. Yes. You are now, all that was done in the past is great. Yes. But what's sir. happening now? Give me a snapshot of what's going on now. Right now, we are still a church that's that's set up on the hill. In Amen. fact, that that is our that is our our, our quotation mark. We are the, right. we are the hill. That's we right. are the hill. That's, that church that's set up on the hill uh, with that light that's shining. Not be hit. And Amen. I'm excited about it because we're doing some things that within the community and we're not just a church in the community. We want to become the church in the community. Amen. I like by that. People can come by and yes. get inspiration. They can get information and they can get inspired not only through the preaching, but through some of the uh, uh, functions or gifts that God has given us to operate in on the Raymond Hill Baptist Church. Well, listen, what I want to do is talk a little bit about what's going on. Because you are a church with a lot of history. Yes, sir. And the information that you're giving to people right now, it, it's really more, it's more about hope. Mm -hmm. It's more about legacy. Yes, sir. Because with that much rich history, you found a niche in the community that says we're not just a church on the hill. We're not just a black church. We're a community church. Yes, sir. So you welcome everybody. Yes, sir. So give me a little bit of what it looks like as a congregation today. Right now, as a congregation today, you know, the, uh, we've all been fighting the post-COVID era. I okay. Yes. Every church has been fighting the post-COVID era. And so it's always been a struggle. It's been a struggle, especially after post-COVID, to try to get yes. people back into the church building. Uh, and so because God has given us this platform, he has given us the platforms through various uh, social media platforms like yes. YouTube and the Facebook uh, and things of that nature. Now, don't get me wrong. We are still spirit-filled. We are still having great church, as you can see. Amen. 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 From Amen. Cynthia Washington. Evangelist Cynthia yes. Washington, we are still we are still doing what the Lord has called us to do, uh, and that's promoting the gospel of Jesus. And I understand Christ. I understand you're not only a pastor, you're a counselor, yes. and also you're a grief specialist. Yes, I and am. right now we need that grief specialist. Yes, we are. Yes, we do. So uh, tell yeah. us a little bit about the grief yeah, specialist. Yeah, I'm a grief specialist as well. I've been licensed grief specialist now through the grief recovery method, and uh, now we're serving uh, not only the church but we're serving the community as well, uh, because we understand that grief has no boundaries. That's right. Uh, a lot of people are experiencing 
facing grief uh, uh, from the from the COVID era and through death, uh, whether or not it's through a loved one, should be, maybe it's a job, maybe it's the, a divorce, but grief is kind of, has a kind of wide spectrum. It does. So now we, uh, God has equipped us uh, uh, to, to serve that community as well. And so I'm excited about it, you know, I'm excited about it. Well, let, let's do that. I want to set you up in a way where we can, I want people to see who you are, Pastor. Yes, sir. First, who's your first lady? My first lady sitting over there. That's it, not. What's her name? That's not. That's not my first. That's my only lady. Only lady, baby. That's my, that's my that's only right. lady. That's right. That's my only. That's not the first lady. That's the only lady. <laughs> that's See, y'all, right. y'all put me in a ditch right here. Y'all, y'all, y'all threw me in a ditch all by myself. I didn't mean it like that. Now don't put the preacher in the ditch now. <laughs> all I'm saying is. You got your, you got your, your wonderful first lady yes. by your side. Your yes, only lady. Yes, I get that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> what makes y'all excited to get up and serve that congregation? Uh, we've, we've been called to serve, uh, okay. as you just Amen. stated. Uh, and I often tell her that behind every good man is always a good woman. But I got to refute that uh, because uh, I, ha- I don't have a good woman. I have a great woman. Hallelujah. Amen. I have a great woman. And, Hallelujah. And, you know, it's, the Bible says the man that findeth a wife findeth a good thing. A good I thing. found a, a, go- a great thing. Yes, <laughs> that's thing right. In, in form of my wife. And so we're excited about it. And we, we have decided to take the reins at Raymond Hill underneath the unction and guidance of the Holy Spirit to go and uh, to take us to new levels. I believe that God is doing some new things uh, at mm-hmm. Raymond Hill in the city of Snellville. And again, I want to reemphasize that we we just don't want to be a church, but we want to become the church. That's it. The church that people can come to and get so inspiration. I, you, you said something about your, your ministry. Do y'all help in other, just beyond the services that y'all have? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. First of all, when is your services held? We are, we are there every Sunday. We're there every Sunday from the hours of 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock. You have midweek services? We have midweek services, but those are held through, uh, basically through our social media platforms. Okay. So you can tune in uh, through Raymond Hill Baptist Church, and you can find me teaching the Word of God every Wednesday. Okay. Uh, every okay. Sunday, we start at 11 o'clock, and we end at 12 o'clock. And I like to say we give them three things in that hour. We're going to give you good worship. We're going to give you a good word. And after the end, we're going to give you a good bye. <laughs> Well, you ain't gonna hold them all day long. No, we can't do that all day but long. That's I, I, right. Again, church ain't what it used to be post COVID. <laughs> that's true. You know, we used to have church an hour and a half, two hours. That's right. Now they give you 45 yeah, minutes yeah, to an hour yeah, yeah. and you're done. You're, you're done. You're done. You're done. <laughs> I put that out there because some people are now coming back to church. Yes. The safety of the, the environment of your congregation. Yes. What, what, what can someone expect coming on campus? Well, if they come on campus, they can, again, expect a, a spirit-filled worship. They can ex- come expect to be fed uh, the Word of God. Uh, we're not going to give them the fluff and stuff. We're going to give, right. we're not, we're gonna give them the, what the, the Word truth. of God says. That's right. uh, we're not there to, to, to try to put on a show, per se, but we're there to give them some, something substantial to make sure that they'll be able to make it through the week. Well, let me, our call. let me say this, but you're still offering COVID relief as far as hand sanitizer. Yes, sir. We if you want a mask, we have a all mask of those available. Y'all, house, y'all uh, still trying to, yes. you know, not sit on top of each other, but right. sit uh, appropriately yes. uh, yes. distance from one another. Yes. So yes. You, you do offer a safe, yes. environment. safe environment. I want yes. to say that out loud because yes. a lot of people think, well, I'm going back to church as you. It's not. No. Because because we have learned to be retrained yeah. in our way we do ministry. Yes. We wash our hands. Yes. We, we don't just arbitrarily lay hands on people like we used to. That's true. You know what I'm saying? That's a, a way to do it without having to have contact, That's but true. yet still having that yes. contact. Yes. So I just wanted to clear some of that stuff yes. up. Because when people say I'm coming back to Raymond Hill yeah. Baptist Church, I want them to know it's a safe environment. It's a safe environment. Right. Yeah, we have uh, hand sanitizer and cleansing stations throughout the sanctuary. Uh, they are mask available for those who would prefer to wear a mask. Yes. We don't hold that against them. That's We're right. still doing temperature checks. That's mandated. I told them to do man- mandated temperature checks at the door. And so, uh, again, the staff uh, that we have serving at Raymond Hill are excited about the direction that the church is going. They are enthusiastic about serving, and that's yes. what really what we want. We want enthusiastic service. Amen. We don't want and going, that's service. That's it, and going ye into all the world and preaching and the good news. That's what we call to do. That's what we call to do. That's what we are called to do. That mandate is this time, It's time to stop just playing. Absolutely. It's time to get down. Absolutely. In the Holy Ghost. Absolutely. <laughs> well, give me a couple of offers that you have on campus. What type of ministry uh, challenges that you face, but what type of ministry that you offer? Uh, grief counseling, I yeah, got grief that. Grief counseling. Uh, 
food services? Do you offer food pantry well, we, services? We, do, we don't currently have a food uh, basket or a food drive as of yet. I got we you. are getting ready to upstart, uh, especially in the uh, Christmas season. We're getting yes. ready to adopt a family, basically, uh, okay. to sponsor Christmas to a, to a family who may be in need. Okay. I right. believe in passing it, passing it forward. Uh, and so with the Christmas season, we'll have a coat drive. We'll be giving out coats, uh, warm coats, warm blankets for those who are, uh, are yes. in need, uh, warm socks. You know, I'm uh, glad you said that. We that did that. Nature. We did a, a sock. We call it Socktober. Yeah. Socktober. So we're raising socks for the homeless population. Yeah. And what we'll do, we'll go out and we'll give homeless people. Because if your feet wet, your whole body cold. Yes. Yeah. So what we try to do is give them socks. Yes. So when the winter time hits, when your feet get wet, you can at least change your socks. Absolutely. I mean, the small gestures. Small gestures. Yes. You know, it's not the big, grandiose things people yeah. think a church has yes. to do. Yeah. And I, I hear what you're saying. With all the history you've had, all the love. Now let's let's make a challenge. Some of the people who served in the past at Raymond Hill, who's had familiarity with the ministry, invite them back. Well, here's an opportunity to to invite them back. Uh, we want you to understand that we're not doing church as usual. Uh, we are uh, spreading the gospel. We are uh, doing church on a new level, underneath the guidance and unction of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Again, uh, we, we invite them back, uh, that older membership. Uh, but we don't want them to come back and think that everything is going to be, be, uh, be the same. Well, that's why I'm bringing you know, it up, because it, yeah. I want to give you that opportunity to yeah. invite them back. You're, yeah, on, yeah. you're on television yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're watching you yeah, tonight, yeah, Pastor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to put that bait out there and uh -huh. say, hey, all you folks that have been there in the past, yeah, yeah. all you same. folks that know what Raven Hill used to be, yes. it ain't the same. It ain't the same. But it's right. better. It's better. It's I, better. It's better. And, and that's what we're offering. We're offering a new ministry, a new look at ministry. That's right. Again, because uh, I believe things have got to, when times change, uh, uh, the whole focus has to change as right. well. Right. Uh, it has to have a, fr a fresh look in order to be appealing to people. And again, we're not putting up lights and, 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 and gimmicks and things like right. that to draw that, you amen. in. We're doing nothing but preaching the gospel. Amen. That's it's it. the simplicity God, of the gospel that's of Jesus it. Christ that's going to draw them amen. in. Amen. As long as they know that you're genuine and, that, and genuine. you're there to, not only about their spiritual needs, but also mm -hmm. their uh, social needs and their emotional needs and their grief uh, uh, that they may be going through. They That's know right. that you're genuine and they know that you're going to be there. A pastor that they can depend on, Amen. they'll Amen. come back. They will come I back. I believe that they'll come back. And if That's they don't right. come back, Pastor, I'm not worried about that either. That's I'm right. still standing you in the majority. The That's it. I'm one still plant, standing in the majority. One water, one reed. Because when he's lifted up, God draws all That's men. That's right. right. That's right. That's what he said in his word. He said, when, I, when you lift me up, I'll draw all men unto me. And so That's, That's what we're job. excited about. That's right. You know, it's his job to do the drawing. It's only our job to do the planting. Well, you said something about, I don't want to be a gimmick ministry. Yes, yes I like that. You don't have to prove nothing to nobody. That's yes, no. true. You know, I, I, I see your character is up front. Yes. You're not hiding anything. That's right. Church is not about a business for you. Yes. Some people make it about a business. Yes. I know we got to pay the bills. Yes. We got to keep the lights on, but it's still a ministry. Yes. Mm -hmm. Give me a nugget that you have found as the two years you've been serving at Raymond Hill, give me a nugget that you have discovered that keeps you coming every week excited about serving on that campus. The thing that keeps me excited about coming to serve at Raymond Hill, I understand that the, the, the Word of God says that everything that we do, uh, we have to do to the glory of God. Amen. Everything that we do, everything that we say has to be God-focused. Mm -hmm. And so that's the thing that keeps me excited. Uh, you know, I'm not there again for self. It's not a business for me. That's I'm it. there uh, to serve, to serve God and to lift up the kingdom of God. I understand that it's really not about the church, but it's all about the kingdom. Amen. Uh, as soon as you get that's your mind it. off the church, uh, the kingdom will take care of itself. That's all right, it. so we, we are promoting the kingdom. It's not about a church membership, but it's all about a kingdom, that's kingdom it. membership. Amen. That's what we're promoting. And again, the nuggets that I focus on, everything we do, we have to do to the glory of God. What's your relationship with the city government of Snellville, the, the political environment of Snellville? Well, you know, we, uh, I've been uh, lobbying. I've been lobbying my wife in order to try to get into the political uh, realm of, uh, of city government. My wife has kind of deterred me. She said, no, you don't want to do that. But it's something that uh, drives me uh, because I see uh, the dynamics not only of Snellville but the surrounding areas and the change that's happening. And uh, I believe that we can be a voice, a positive a voice of change. Uh, it's, it's, it's sad when we sit back and see things happening, but we don't put any input in it. Uh, I believe that's that why church, I brought that up. Yeah, I believe that the church is the most powerful entity uh, yes. in, in the in the earth realm Amen. Uh, because the church was here first, and then God established government. 
we have to understand that. Mm -hmm. And so the church yes. has become largely silent in terms of. And see, that's why power. I brought it up. Cause I saw it. I, I saw that in you. Yes, sir. Of, of wanting to participate, but it's not just saying I'm the pastor. Right. You got to go into your community yes. and affect. Yes. And the way we affect, we got to reach every segment yes. of our community. And government is a big part of church. Yes. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people are in our churches want to know how informed is my church. Right. Is my church involved in local uh, ordinances, uh, laws, you know, things that are going to affect my taxes, my yes. rates. Yes. You know, as my church, if, if we're not visible in the community, how will our voice be heard? Right, right. And I heard what you said. The church was established first. That's it. Then he established government. That's right. And me and my wife talk about that all the time. You know, we have to be honest with the congregation. Yes. yes. You got to get out there and vote. I don't tell them who to vote for. Yes, yes. I'm not talking about Democrat, Republican, but as a member of the House of God. Yes. Vote Christian. Your, we got to vote. Your, it's your responsibility. We have a right. responsibility to go out and vote. Yes. That's and right. that's why I've asked that question. A lot of people, well, I don't want to get involved in public. Well, you have to. You have to. It yes. affects your congregation. Yes, it affects your bottom line. Yes. yes. And so I, I wanted to bring that out because if you're going to lead a congregation in a city. Yes. Mm -hmm. as, as robust as Snellville, because it's a very diverse community. You got the Caribbean culture. Yeah. You got the northern, uh, folk, like you, a transplant yeah. from up north. Yeah, that's true. That's you know, true. Came Don't down to the south. Me, you got, I'm not holding against you, but I'm saying <laughs> you have a lot of different people that's come to Snellville that needs to see the kingdom of God at yeah. work in that community. Yes. And you're saying Raymond Hill Baptist Church yes. is that place. Raymond Hill Baptist Church is that place. If you just don't want a church, uh, but you want to come to a church that's spirit-filled, that's teaching and preaching the word of God and standing bold and flat-footed on the word of what thus saith yes. the Lord, uh, then Raymond Hill is the church for that's you. That's right. Well, I got two minutes, and I'm going to give that to you, Pastor. Speak to this camera over my shoulder. Share your heart with the people. Amen. Again, my name is Pastor Isaac. I'm the senior pastor at Raymond Hill Baptist Church. We will be delighted that you would come and serve with us. Uh, just understand this, that when you come into the house of Raymond Hill, you're not going to just come to another, another church service, but you're going to come to a spirit-filled worship service where we're lifting up, lifting up Jesus Christ, lifting up the banner of the blood-stained banner of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and promoting the gospel of Jesus Christ. Again, we, we're not just there for you spiritually, but we're there for you holistically. We care about your uh, social. We care about your emotional. We care about your grief counseling. We care about all of that. And we thank God that God has given us this platform in order to be able to minister to the whole person. That is our function. That was our primary function, to minister to the whole person. We just don't want to be one-sided in what we do and what we promote. We want to be able to be diverse and minister to the whole person. So again, if you're ever in the, in the Snellville area, we invite you to come to Raymond Hill Baptist Church. The address there is 1495 uh, South Crestview Drive in the city of Snellville. One more time. And we're there, 1495 South Crestview Drive in the city of Snellville. And what's your uh, email address? And my email address, you can reach me at Isaac underscore K at Comcast.net, or you can reach me at another avenue. You can also reach me at Keith.Isaac at CrossroadsHospice.com. You can also reach me there as well. Uh, so we got a lot of things going on, and we're just excited about what God is doing. I'm Thank excited you. for you, Pastor. Thanks Thank for you. coming and joining us here yeah. at WATC. Thank you so very, very much. I just pray blessings at, at your ministry. Now listen, we got to get back <coughs> to your beautiful praise team. Amen. Because Cynthia Washington is throwing down. Yeah. Like, like we say in the country, yeah. she throwing down. Yeah. We have the Holy Ghost hold down. All right. And I'm telling you, we're going to have a blast. So here we go. You are my strength. Come on. All right. We are the elect. Are God's legislators, his law enforcement agents, and we can do nothing in our own strength. For we know the joy of the Lord has been and is our strength.
Hallelujah, folks. I'm in, a, I'm in a state of worship right now. <laughs> so please excuse me for being distracted. But I have my friend here tonight, Mr. Carl Ray, my friend. <laughs> What's up, <laughs> man? What? Now, Ms. O'Neill, please excuse us. You know, when children we come go, in the room, we're going to try, we try to keep it. <laughs> we're going to try to keep it down, you know. This place gets we're, turned up around oh here. That's God. right. We got the presence of God. We got great fellowship. Beautiful. So God is in the bits. And what about that song, man? Oh my God! Yeah. You, you are my strength, right? Yeah. Everything. I was over here singing. I, I wanted to go take the mic from that sister, oh man, because she was throwing it down. Too. Oh man! Now, the way you dressed tonight, I thought you was gonna perform. Well, you know, uh, most people around here know that I sing country music. Amen. Right? And I do a little bit of all of it, from bluegrass to traditional country. Okay. All of it, and I love it. I'm a writer at heart. Amen. So I love songwriting, and so. Every now and then, as I travel and as I pick up the phone, people say, did you know about this person? Do you know what's going on in this community? And I'll say, what? No, I didn't know that. And that's just what happened a couple of weeks ago. A friend of mine who's, who plays bluegrass with me, okay. he called, he said, hey, Carl, this is what's happening in the community and how this organization is helping our community. And then he started talking about all these people who were notable musicians who were coming to our city of Atlanta, right, to help Atlanta wow. accomplish things. They, they have their own cities. They could do a number of things around the world, but they choose to come because of musical charities, which is what we're going to talk about, Amen. and what they're doing. And so, actually, this young lady, this fine lady with the beautiful smile, oh, she's going to kill me. <laughs> but, but she is Paige O'Neill, as you said, and she, uh, she gave birth to this great organization, Musical Charities. Yes. And so, uh, I'm going to turn it over to you, because I got a lot to say, and you are the star of the uh -huh. show. So, Paige, yes. how did char uh, Musical Charities come about? Let's start there. Well, let me start by saying thank you for having me and letting your audience know about this. Uh, Musical Charities is a nonprofit organization that is specifically to support musicians, but really our whole community. Okay. There's so many facets of it. We have three daisies on our logo, and that represents the musicians, the audiences, and the people that donate to come and see by bu buying a ticket, um, and then also a beneficiary. So we always, it's all about community. Um, wow. I have been extremely blessed my whole entire life. I cannot complain about anything, but I know other people and other organizations struggle. And well, with I'm, COVID, a lot of well, especially with a COVID. lot of musicians struggle because there was no gigs, no platforms, no stages, no yes. money. And so when you think no about the musicians, right? But not only that, but you talk about uh, those who park cars. You talk about those who cater. The sound, right. the sound the engineers. Sound. You talk yes. about the lights. The venues. Lights and sound engineers also suffered through this process. Everybody, Everybody. suffered, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I saw it firsthand with some of my uh, colleagues who couldn't pay their bills, right? right? And so some lost their homes. Some lost a lot, couldn't afford yeah, insurance. I understand. Right? So COVID. It did a number on on a lot of the entrepreneurs right. who, uh, who happen to be a lot of songwriters, and a lot of them they only get paid by performing. Amen. Yeah, you know, they don't have. Some of them are, are blessed, and they have other incomes, like they have right. real estate, and right. so they have yeah. monthly rent coming in, and they have. Right. So there's some creative things happening, but there are a lot of people who suffer, and so uh, when I met uh, Paige, uh, she told me about this new. Um, uh, this new event that they have coming up on the 30th. Do we got one coming up this end this, this week? Sunday. Yeah, yeah this Sunday. Yeah, the one at the beginning of next week. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about what. First of all, let's get back to what you're doing. You're helping people in need. 
there's nothing that is coming for you. It's not, a, it's not where you raise money for your organization and you take a piece of it right. and give it away. Well, I think a lot of musicians, they're wonderful singers, they're wonderful performers, but they're not very good promotion right. people. And it's hard to self-promote. Exactly. So That's I have a friend in Nashville and she wants to get back out there after COVID. And I said, I'll do it. And so we formed that musical charities and it's- So tell us how it breaks down. Give our audience a, a, a vision of how it breaks. You put together the event. So we create an event. There you go. So we create the event and it's okay. based around the needs of uh, the musicians and of course the dates, they're available. Um, for instance, this event we have, we have four of the top women in bluegrass country, um, Americana folk. Um, and they are, they're, they've never been on stage together, not the four of them. They're all individual songwriters, but including one of them is the uh, female vocalist of the year. Mm -hmm. And they, one, uh, Pam said, I want to do a big shebang, you know, and get some of my friends that I know then, and respect. And um, so this is how we created it. And all, uh, Pam asked Donna Ulysses, and Donna Ulysses said, I'm all in. And, and then they asked Becky Buller, and she said, I'm all in. So, and then Irene Kelly. So it's amazing how they're coming together and um, we are benefiting children through the Marietta Powell's program. And, um, wow. and I'm just now, The Marietta Powell program is a big program. It's a big uh, program done by the Marietta Police Started Department. Started in New York. Okay. And, but Marietta Police Department has adopted this program. They help yes. underprivileged kids oh. from the community, uh, sports, sports, athletics, workshops, workshops um, job training, yeah. yes. job All placements. That, right? It's a whole lot that they do. So it's this artist is helping. Yes. Oh, wow. And then that's what I mean by you have these artists coming from their own communities, right? right. They don't know. This is the first time they've been here together. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So attacking this this need for Marietta Police Department and helping our children at the end of the day. Oh yeah. You know, so that's it's going to benefit the children. Yeah. And so yes. the Bible talks about your gift will make room for you. That's right. Amen. Right. So I mean, it's all right that I can play the guitar, but the question is, what am I going to do for the Lord? That's with right. That gift? Amen. That's it. You know, how do I how do I help someone? What that's can it. I say to someone? How can I inspire someone? How can I change that person's life? Or improve their lives, right? Because you're going to have to say something, help meet a need. And I love yes. what the previous uh, pastor was just talking about. You're going to get grace. You're going to get the word. You're going to get all of that. But you're going to get something tangible that's it. to yes. help you, you know. And so this organization not only helps bring these, these artists together, but it expands their relationships. And they're talking about doing this in other areas as well. So it's, it's, it, 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 it catapults to other markets, other initiatives. And it could be a gospel. You know, we, right. could, we could have some of the great, you right. know, some of the great gospel artists come mm -hmm. in Absolutely. to meet a need for Atlanta. That's why it's exactly. called musical okay. charities, because we can take it anywhere. Exactly. Like and musical what I chairs. like about you, um, Paige, that you're the one that's saying, I go out there and promote you. Yeah. Self-devotion is hard. You it's said hard. it. It is. It's, it's hard to brag on yourself, mm -hmm. but it's, it's, yeah, it is. it's, it's mm -hmm. better. And you shouldn't brag on yourself. Yeah. Yes. Well, but it, yes. I mean, any, I agree. any person with character That's won't right. sit there and brag on themselves. Yeah. yeah. But to have a friend who knows mm -hmm. you yeah. personally, yeah. Right. that knows the need that you're going through, right. that steps in and say, God, if you can use anyone, use Pam O'Neill. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's grace. Yes. That's the grace. Yes. Well, I, I say God held my hand and said, you're going into the music business. I'm like, what? What am I doing promoting music? And then I grab somebody else's hand and that's I say, it. I'm going to benefit you. It's community. And then See, that's I'm community. Holding, that now so I'm holding beautiful. his hand and he's helping my, me right. and we're all holding each other's right. hands. And it's beautiful. And there's, that is, there's is. nothing negative about it. Exactly. And so nothing. what I try to do is there's a lot of people who have ministries. They have uh, nonprofits. LLCs, you name mm -hmm. it, right? Uh, but sometimes they're not effective in the community. No, mm -hmm. right? it's all about right. them. Everybody right. that has, they're not. Wonder, that's why I said earlier, you're raising money, but you're not breaking off 10% to give away and right. keep it 90%. No, 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 right. no, no, exactly. no, no I wanted to say no. that out loud. Right. Because, which is one of the reasons that's Because Paige, you see what I'm talking about? Which is one Thank of the you. things that kind of intrigued me about it, right? Right, oh, I know you call. Right. You ain't gonna right. touch it if right. it's, it's right. it, you're yeah. a giver, right. you're not a taker. Right. So it, it, it intrigued me because I love music too. And I always ask the Lord, Lord, you know, I don't know why you gave me this gift, you know, but you know, and you open these mm -hmm. doors. Right. Just let me be a vessel mm -hmm. where I can help 
either somebody else reached their potential. That's it. You know, when you think about a, a spacecraft, that spacecraft goes up, and when it goes so high, pieces fall off. And then it goes up a little higher. Then pieces fall off. And then it gets to a point where it goes up in space and it's in its orbit. Well, sometimes I'm those piece, that piece. I'm helping somebody get to their orbit. Mm -hmm. I'm not That's designed it. to go there. That's right. good. But I can help them get there. That's Just good. like somebody else has helped me get somewhere. That's yeah. it. So I'm here as a piece mm. to help her. But you know what I see about this call? It's multicultural. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not Absolutely. about bluegrass. No, absolutely. Bluegrass is the, is the music that we happen to be playing in this particular At this event, ven yeah. this venue. Right. But it, right. it's beyond bluegrass. Absolutely. It, it, but it's, it's, it's a community coming together to help musicians, songwriters, people who's part of the industry who in need yes. get the help that they need. Yes. Now, I understand y'all don't give away monetary. Right. Mm -hmm. So it won't That's something be, we're very proud of. Well, and I say that out loud because I like the way you put that. You parked it in the right way. We don't give away the monetary because that could be easily misused. Yes. yes exactly. But if I'm going to put all this effort and all this action behind helping someone, right. I'm not going to let you squander the blessing. Right. Right. Amen. Right. Right. That's that right. was wise. Yeah. Yeah. So with Marietta Powell, we're buying all their sports equipment. You know, they gave us a list of what they want and how, however many uh, people buy tickets and give donations. Um, then we will do that for them. It's and called accountability. Okay. Yes, Thank you. yes, it is. A lot of people, so I've had yes. people come to me and say, hey, give, oh, give, give. I know give. you have. I know. I'm like, wait a minute, what, what, what am I giving to? Yeah, give me right. some accountability. No, so when I say that out loud, give me some, I know we got PAL that we yes. were helping this, but give me mm -hmm. some, something that you've helped in, someone or some organization you've helped yeah. in the past. Children and animals are my passion. So okay. I'm an animal rescuer. I actually founded mostly Mutt's Animal Rescue, and so I ran that for 10 up, years. You just picked up a whole new audience right there. <laughs> yeah. You picked up a whole new yeah, audience. So I rescued dogs for 10 years, and I still do it on the side. But So we've given to mostly Mutt's. Uh, we, we just put money in their vet bill. You know, I We call you. the veterinarian, and we say, you know, the, here's a donation. Um, uh, uh, kudzu Cat Rescue. Okay. Trinity Horse Rescue. And we, um, a soldier that was being deployed, we gave them a nice gift card. So she wanted to decorate her room. Um, so we thought that was very appropriate for that because of the emotional right. support with that. Um, we've also um, donated uh, $5,500 worth of musical um, guitars, ukuleles, things like that, and Nintendo games to Scottish Rite Children's Hospital. And I'll tell you who else we benefited was the person, the, the nurse of the person that we um, donated in the name of. Um, we'd let her go shopping. Oh, wow. wow. And so she got retail therapy, she called it. That is awesome. And she, but she bought specifically what the what teenage the kids was. wanted. Needed. Yeah, I don't know what they yeah. want, wow. but she and, does. And then some people need the lights get turned off. You know, right. Yes, yeah. absolutely. They can't pay their I would their, love their to mortgage, pay a mortgage or a rent payment. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so uh, just tangibly, how can you help people? And you can also, uh, we'll give the contact information for Paige shortly, but if you have ideas or needs in the community that you can serve up to her, her and her board, they'll look at those Absolutely. things and decide what's the next uh, organization or situation yes. they can give to. We've been talking a lot about Florida, for example, right. and some of the people down there. That's where and I'm so, from. So now we're, we're thinking about you know, where we can make a difference. Well, let's talk up this big event coming up on the 30th. Yes. Let's talk that up. Let's, let's let everybody who's watching tonight Email, Facebook, Instagram, somebody about this event coming up on the 30th. Mm -hmm. Give us some details. Yeah, so when you think about this event, it's bluegrass to your point. But you don't have to be a bluegrass grass lover. You can support the event, but also you can learn a lot, right? The musicians are phenomenal. I'm just going to read a couple of them. Pam, is it Gad? Gad. Gad, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a, a Grammy-nominated uh, from Wild Rose. She's toured with Dolly Parton. Some of you guys know Dolly Parton. Uh -huh. Most black people know but Dolly Parton. <laughs> and right. Charlie Pryor. Uh -huh, yeah. And they ought to know Carl Ray. Oh, yeah. Rob, oh, no, no, no. Rob, 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 Rob
let me let me let me get back my composure. Okay. <laughs> then we got Becky Bueller, who is a ten-time IBMA uh, award. She's a songwriter of the and year. And that's some big awards. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's it's, some, it's, that, it's, that's that's small. It's, it's huge. First fiddler. First fiddler woman. First woman to win the IBMA Fiddler Award. She's co-wrote songs all over, the, all over the world, teaches extensively. Irene Kelly, I can't wait to see her. She's an award-winning uh, songwriter. And the songs have been recorded by Alan Jackson, Trisha Learwood, Loretta wow. Lynn, Ricky Skaggs, mm -hmm. and more, right? And then you've got Donna Ulysses, 10 albums, many awards, a female vocalist of the year, songwriter of the year, 2016, Apparently. 18, mm -hmm. 22. She's, she's wrote a slew of songs for people, mm. but these are phenomenal. Top tier. These, no, these, these, these are phenomenal musicians. I mean, phenomenal. Okay. You know, I had the pleasure of recording a record with uh, uh, the old record Cross with the queen of bluegrass. Her name was Rhonda Vincent. Yep. And these ladies are in that category. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. So, um, I mean, it's, it, it, when you see these ladies play, they're just not... Uh, songwriters, but they are true musicians, and some of the the best musicians. And I've been in rhythm and blues. I've been I've seen jazz, but when you put those people with with bluegrassers, they have to they have to great storytelling. Without <laughs> mine, I can see great storytelling great, in the music. Great story story and spiritual and so you just leave. like that. Music so for moves people me like, so much. Yeah. This music moves. It you does. Know? So for people like me, what is bluegrass? Because I don't know. <laughs> so, so there are mo many forms of country music. There's okay. traditional country, there's contemporary country. Okay. But bluegrass is all about tight harmonies, real tight harmonies, mm -hmm. and the instrumentals, instruments. Okay. No uh, drums. No drums. No drums. Normally. Normally. Yeah. Sometimes they have it. This is snare. But, but, but it's all about. Uh, uh, instruments without drums and tight harmonies yes. okay. and great stories. And the, the, the instruments are typically a banjo, mandolin. a mandolin, a, violin. a fiddle, Fiddle. Guitars. Fiddle, okay. Fiddle. I call it a violin, yeah. but it's a fiddle. It's a fiddle, brother, right? It's a fiddle. Excuse me. Right? Exactly. <laughs> Dobro and upright yes. bass, and then lots of great harmonies. Okay. But those guys who play those instruments are just phenomenal. So how can we get our community out there? What's, how can they reach you guys? We would love you to go to musicalcharities.org. We have a Facebook page. Um, you can reach me through info at musicalcharities.org. I'm happy to answer any questions. Would love you to come. We offer group discounts. You know, we know people have families. We know people are on a budget. We want you to come. Amen. So we will, we, we, it's more important that you're there enjoying the music yes. than it is um, that we have to make, you know, so much money. Um, so, but he was saying these musicians, they're songwriters. There are instrumentalists, and there are singers. I'm a songwriter. I don't claim to be a singer or right. an instrument. These ladies, pretty much, are all of them. So That's you're really oh, getting, wow. yeah. They're they're phenomenal singers, award-winning musicians, and everything else. And they're gonna they're gonna sing their own songs. They're, like Pam will sing a song, and then Donna will sing a song. But they're all gonna play on each other's songs and harmonize. Right. And so wow. it's going to be a lot of very very touching music. And so where did the event gonna be? Cause we down to about a minute. Yeah. So it's Sunday, October 30th, mm -hmm. right? Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Doors open at 1.15. And it's at Raccoon Creek Music Park mm -hmm. in, in Dallas, Georgia. In Dallas. Raccoon, Raccoon, Raccoon Creek, Creek Music Creek. Park. Okay. Music Park. Park. You got it, brother. It's a very Tongue authentic. Twister. I had to say it again. Grass Raccoon Creek. And it Creek. has covered music, seating, music so regardless music of the park. weather. Right. It has covered seating. Good, good. Go, okay. to, go to her Facebook page and connect because more events will be coming. Gotcha. And you'll be able to see them. Yes, yeah, matter of fact, two weeks from that date, we have Claire Lynch and Jim Hurst coming, and that's going to benefit farm animal rescue and wild bird rescue. Oh, well, right. thank y'all for being here tonight. We oh, we'll appreciate the, the event. We love it. We get your head, man. I need it. Now, we're going to go to the phones. <laughs> call at number 770-300-9828. God wants to touch you. Come Amen. on, call that number. Amen. Amen. Good evening and praise the Lord. It is exciting tonight to be here with you, to be able to pray with you and your families. The number to call tonight is 
300-9828. I'm sure you agree that it's an honor and a privilege to have a God that you can pray to and that he will answer you. As we approach the throne of grace tonight, it is always important to examine your relationship with God. John 3.16 reminds us, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son for us. We're going to pray. If you'll just bow your heads with us. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, God, for your word according to Romans uh, chapter 10, verse 9 and 10, where you said in your word that, God, that if we shall confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Well, with the heart of man believeth unto righteousness, and with our mouth confession is made unto salvation. We pray first, God, for forgiveness and that Jesus would be Lord in our life. And, God, we come before your throne, your mercy seat, asking for your divine divine protection and intervention, whether it's for salvation, peace, God, or whatever problems they may be facing, healing in the bodies, God, storms of life, whatever the need, so that we can boast about the great things that you're doing in our life. We touch and agree with all those listening in Jesus' name. Now back to the studio. Welcome back, folks. We are sitting here on set. With Miss, with that Cynthia Walker. I want to make sure I get it right. That's right. Cynthia Walker, girl, you got a voice. Thanks, hey, him. You got a spirit of worship. Yes. So, hey, how did all this come about? Well, I'm my mama's baby. Amen. <laughs> my granddaddy's granddaughter, and I've been in church all my life. I'm a worshiper. Amen. Amen. Oh, well, we can well, tell. The end time. We can, we can, can tell, we can girl. Tell. I'm an yes. end time worshiper. Amen. I'm not right. a performer. I'm not a great Amen. singer, but Amen. I'm a worshiper. Amen. Now unto him who's able to do exceedingly Amen. and abundantly, abundantly above all, all we can ask or think yes. according to the power that's at work in us. Amen. And so as a worshiper, you want to tap into that power. Amen. Mm -hmm. We want everybody to tap into us, particularly mm -hmm. in this season that we're in. That's right. See, because we've been here before. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's right. And he did it before, he'll, he'll do, do it, it again. again. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. Yes. That same God. So we were ahead preaching to her. <laughs> we were ahead preaching to her resume. Yes. She about to preach. Amen. <laughs> That's who he is. Amen. And we got to know who we are. Amen. That's it. When we touch and agree, yes. hey, there is absolutely nothing Amen. that's too hard for us. He gave us the keys. Amen. My language. He gave I us told my congregation, and I've been saying it for three weeks, mm -hmm. everything I need is already in the kingdom. It's already. I don't have to beg the world for nothing. No. I'm a part of the kingdom, and Amen. everything I need is in the kingdom. And he says, I've given you everything. 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 For life. That's it. And godliness. Amen. Let's tap into everything. I'm on the line, Lord. I need this right here. <laughs> There is nothing too hard for, for God. God. That's it. And he's the God of all flesh, and there's nothing too hard for him. So I pray as a worshiper mm -hmm. that everybody taps into the spirit that's inside that's of right. them. That's right, because the anointing is what breaks the yoke. That's the only thing that the destroys only the thing. yoke. Okay. And there's power in the name of God. Now, preachers, preach us. Yes, sir. Preach us. Yes, sir. <laughs> we got some young women mm -hmm. and young men mm -hmm. who want to be where you're sitting at tonight. Mm -hmm. You're on television. Mm -hmm. You got a voice of praise. Yes. It didn't come overnight. Right. Talk to these young folk. So that it didn't want, come. That want to get to where you at tonight. How can I be on TV, Cynthia? How can I sing, Cynthia? <laughs> much can, prayer. There you go. There <laughs> much you go. prayer and much faith. Much Amen. prayer, much faith. And being able to endure. Come on See, now. You didn't get to be this old. You ain't old now. Mm -hmm. Anyway. The wisdom, the wisdom, but yeah, not old. That. Yeah, that. <laughs> but you don't get to be um, in this position without some trials. Amen. Right. You know, knowing that the testing of your faith. Come on you know, now. Work at that perseverance. And, and so you don't get here overnight. And, and you can't let everybody stand up because everybody can sing. That's I, it. I'm on a praise team at another church, and they are just phenomenal singers. Right. Okay, but how are you living? How are you living? How are you living? Amen. Amen. I'm not challenging that. I'm not judging. But it's I'm the just truth. A but it is inspector. the truth. That's I'm, it. I'm, I'm, I don't judge people. I'm just a Y'all get inspector. along too. Y'all get along too good. Y'all get along too good. That's, that's, that's a rotten spot right there. We're going to cut that off. You should tell me all the time. I'm a fruit inspector. Amen. You took the words out of her mouth. 
<laughs> I'm just telling you, that's what we do. That's right. We're fruit inspectors, that's okay? It. And we need to stay connected to the true vine. That's it. Because when he loves you, he's going to prune some things away. I heard the young man mm -hmm. say that the higher you go, certain things fall, fall off. off of you. Mm -hmm. Well, don't be afraid when they start to fall away. Amen. It hurts. Yeah, it hurts. And there's some sleepless and some <laughs> tear-soaked pillows, you yes. know, sleepless nights. Amen. But God is still propelling you and in that same direction yes. that you want to be in. You know what I'm saying? You want to go there. You got to trust him to get you there. That's now, right. I'll tell you the truth. I started out in Lodabar. Hmm. Amen. Young people. Addicted. For y'all who don't know what Lodabar is, it's a desolate place. It's dry, it's country, mm -hmm. ain't nothing going on. One red light in town, no McDonald's, and it sure ain't got no black It sure ain't got no black It's not even no red light. No red light's a caution light. Caution light. That's it. But, you know, it, it was a dark place. Amen. In such a dark place, I didn't think that God even knew where I was. Oh. But he says, if you make your bed That's in right. hell, that's it. I'll be there too. I'll be there. That's and it. I, and I put him to the test. Come on now. But Lord, I heard that you could do That's this for said. my mama. Yeah. I heard you could do this for my daddy. What about me? I need you to do this for me. Hey. Now, if you can heal and deliver them, I need what you about to me? heal and That's deliver right. me. And so when he delivered me, he started out 4318 Isaiah. Mm. Say, hey, behold, I'm doing a new thing. That's a new it. Thing. Amen. Now it's so <laughs> That's it. Amen. And I'll make that way for you in That's the wilderness it. and provide rivers for you in the desert. Amen. So I'm that product. That's how I got here. And it wasn't overnight. Mm -hmm. I was with the showers of blessings. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've heard of them, but we were stellar award winners. We were traveling all over the place. Mm -hmm. But certain things happen. Life happened. Mm -hmm. Right. And I made bad choices. But all things work together. work together for the good, not just the good things, not just the bad That's things. Right. And when the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, if you step back mm -hmm. or if you step to the side, they're still ordered by the Lord. That's it. So that is what young people, if you aspire to, to, to do worship, live that life, trust God, and he'll open the doors for you. I said this to my grandson. I got to give him a shout out. He's in the Air Force. I said this to my grandson. He says, I'm not sure if I'm going to re-enlist. I said, son, ain't nothing else out here. Stay where you are. Stay planted. And trust the Lord. When God plants you, he'll open doors for you. That's right. And I stayed planted where I was. I'm a federal government employee for 32 years. December 23, I'll see y'all later. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> that means she retired. Deuces. Deuces. <laughs> Listen, I love you for all you're doing tonight. Thank, Thank you. you for being here God tonight. Thank y'all for letting me talk. <laughs> We've had a great time tonight. I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us each and every night here at WATC, especially to Homer and Florence Danley. Thank you for joining us on air tonight. I want to pray for Delaney Camp tonight. She needs healing in her body. I want to pray for Margie Wynn. We love you. Nothing you can do about it. God bless you. We'll see you on the next side.